Hello, welcome back from break. I'm pretending I'm in the tropics. I'm not. Um, so welcome to the spring semester of anatomy and physiology. I want to give you a little overview of what the semester will be like. So like the fall, this will be um, recorded lectures. And I want to kind of change your viewpoint of that. I'm not doing that because um, I need to because of coronavirus, but I really think that it's also a better design for this course. So I'm going to share with you the little schematic that's also in your syllabus as a way to walk through um, this idea that's called the flipped classroom. So the idea behind a flipped classroom is that the more difficult learning is done together. So traditionally, you might read before class. And in my experience, students don't come to class as prepared as I want to. So in lecture, um, it's often the first time that students are really, um, really learning the material. And I'm also trying to integrate stuff. I'm trying to help you apply, practice for the exam. And students aren't always ready for that, um, just, just not. And then you're expected to practice and get ready for the exam on your own after class. And preparation for the exam doesn't always happen. It's a lot harder, et cetera. That's a traditional classroom. The flip class flips that. So you're expected to do more before class. So that is an expectation. Um, you not only have the reading, but you have the lecture videos. And you're expected to watch those. Um, I do know that is takes time, um, but that's time that you Otherwise, would be spending practicing and applying on your own. So the idea is you're doing the easy stuff on your own. It's, it's not I mean, it's not easy, but the information coming in for the first time um, in the lectures, you can pause, you can look over again. There's learning checks. Um, so you come into class having a good base of knowledge, and then in the classroom, you come in and you practice applying that knowledge um, together. And then with my help. Of course, you might have to review as well, but this is a lot less work than this was up here. So that's the idea behind the flipped classroom. Um, and besides that, I do want you to, before class to look over this syllabus. Um, some of it will look familiar to you from the fall, and some of it's a little bit new. So the learning goals are new, the, the content we're covering. Um, some of the design in terms of how things work. We will be having class two times a week, um, these activities as well as lab, and then mini exams will be every other week. So this is um, designed a little bit differently. I'd like you to look through this. So here's an example of down here, um, what this will look like week by week. So there's a mini exam week three, and then week five and seven. Um, as well as the practicals. So they're coming more often. That frequent assessment that I'm hoping keeps you up on the material. Okay, um, let me quickly show you the Canvas page. So here is Canvas, um, our homepage. You can go to access right from here. The book is online and you can also download it as a PDF. I recommend online. Um, you can also order a print copy, and there is some evidence that reading a printed copy and taking notes physically is helpful for learning. Um, I went here to the online version. What's cool is you actually can do highlights for it. So let's see if we go down to endocrine system is our first reading. You can look section by section. So there's the introduction, and then you can either go to next or go to section one. You can take notes on this. Uh, I believe you have to sign in to do that, actually. Um, it'll create a study guide from you. So I haven't done this a whole lot, but it's a feature that they have here. Interactive links, um, some of them are good. Just like your normal, your book you've used before, there are um, review questions and such at the end. You're welcome to use another book as well, but you need to make sure you're reading the right material. And I recommend using this book just to know, you know, what you need to know, but other books say the same thing. So you're welcome to use them as resources. Just make sure you're learning the correct material. Um, so there's those quick links there. And then modules is how you're going to go th through week by week. They open up here. So I have a welcome with some basic stuff here, course overview about me, learning outcomes, extra credit in the syllabus. We close that tab. You'll see week one. 
So here is what you need to do for week one. There's the reading. I will have the lecture videos linked here as well and the PowerPoints for this week. Um, for this week, there's no lab preparation. So there's no lab here. When this week is done, you can close this tab and look at week two. You probably wanna look ahead to week two before week one's over. For example, the homework for week two is based on the readings from week one. And I have that noted up there. Um, there's a lab here as well. So this is kind of how it's organized at this, this point. Um, this is every reading section for this week. Um, but you can also get there from textbook over on the left here, or just bookmark the textbook. There's multiple ways to find the readings. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I will see you soon. <laughs>